Like that. Because at the moment you're, you're looking <laughs> like that. That's right. I think let's just, yeah. I'm making rice right today. <laughs> I'm making my vermicelli rice today, Chef Lielli Pilab, as we call it. It's got fried vermicelli in there. I use the absorption method. You can't go wrong. I'm really looking forward to showing you another one of my most popular recipes. So let's go. First thing we do is just heat up a little bit of sunflower or vegetable oil in a nice stainless steel pan. On a medium heat, not too hot, because you don't want the vermicelli to just burn, but you want it to get a nice brown colour to it. So we just heat that up on the pan. And what you can do, just to test if the, if the oil is hot or at the right temperature, you can just pop in a bit of vermicelli once it's been heating up for about 30 seconds or so, just to see if it starts to sizzle. And if it does, then it's good to go. I'm also going to add some chicken stock to the rice. You can add some vegetable stock if you prefer, and that's absolutely fine. And I use two and a half parts stock, and I use a stock cube, just melted in boiling water, to one part rice. And I use easy cook long grain rice. It's really important that you take note of the rice that I use. If you don't want mushy, kind of stodgy rice, then easy cook is the way to go, because it's part cooked already. This is a really traditional recipe, so this is the way my mum has always cooked rice. Still not quite there yet with the heat of the oil. This is a really traditional Middle Eastern and um, Cypriot way of cooking rice and using stock in the rice as well and also using the absorption method which means that the liquid to rice ratio means that the rice is cooked out completely in the liquid and there's no need to drain any of the liquid out. Right, the oil is ready. So in goes the vermicelli. Don't, you've got to keep stirring it. Okay, so keep stirring it until it's all kind of level in the oil. On that medium heat, remember, not too high. And you'll notice that it will start to change colour. It will go to a kind of a pale cream colour first, which would be the colour it would be if you were boiling it up as pasta, but we're not. We're frying it off first. And then it will cook through like pasta with the addition of the stock. It cooks really quickly, so do not take your eyes off it. Really important. It's slowly changing to that kind of very light golden brown colour. And um, so we're getting really close. As soon as you feel like it's gone that dark golden brown colour, you need to take it straight off the heat. And it actually needs to cool down before you add the rice to it. Otherwise, it will splutter and the oil will go everywhere because I've washed the rice. Really important that you wash the rice as well to rid it of any of that extra starch that might be in there to stop it going stodgy. Right, this is a perfect colour. It's a lovely golden kind of tan colour that I'm looking for. I'm going to turn the heat off. Take it off the heat and just give it a minute or so to cool down before I add the rice to it. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is put it back on the heat, reheat it up a little bit with the, with the rice, again so the rice kind of seals in the oil, take it back off the heat and then I'll add the sock and bring it up to the boil and let it cook for about 10 to 12 minutes. Okay, so the rice that I'm using, this easy cook long grain rice, it's been washed, it's been drained. You can hear it sizzle as it hits the pan there. And now give it a little stir, pop it back on a medium heat and just seal it for about a minute or so. Everything is about getting this rice cooked to perfection without it being overcooked and stodgy or undercooked and hard. Okay, so this is the method I use. It's foolproof. And that's it. You just need it on for that amount of time. Let it cool down a little bit before you add the hot stock to it as well. So the other important thing to know is it, I'm just using measurements in terms of mugs. So I just use my average size mug to make this recipe. Whatever size mug you use to measure out the rice, you need to use exactly the same size mug to measure out your stock. So one mugful of rice is equal to two and a half mugfuls of stock, or that stock cube melted in two and a half mugfuls of boiling water. So this is where now the stock goes in. And slowly add the heat back on. And you can add an extra pinch of salt in there as well, which is fine. It depends on the stock cubes you're using. Some are more salty than others, but use your judgment. You could taste the stock before you put it in there, which is absolutely fine. What I'm going to do is bring it up to the boil. And once it starts to boil, I'm going to turn it down to kind of a, a moderate simmer. Um, and once it's been simmering for about 10 to 12 minutes, you'll notice that these bubbles will form at the top of the rice. And that means it's cooked. You take it straight off the heat 
Cover it with a sheet of kitchen roll, trust me. Put the lid back on and any excess moisture will be soaked into that kitchen paper and it will be the best rice you've ever had, I promise. And don't stir it, there's no need to stir it. If you've stirred it, once the stock's gone in, that's fine. My mum always says to me, don't touch it, just leave it. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so as soon as the bubbles start to appear at the top of the rice, it's done. Take it off the heat, we'll turn off the heat first, cover it with a sheet of kitchen roll and the lid and just leave that now for about 10 minutes so that any excess moisture gets soaked up into the kitchen towel and then it's ready to serve. So give it a good 10 minutes or so. So the rice has been resting now for about 10 minutes with the kitchen roll and the lid on top. So I'm just gonna take that off. I mean, you can still see it's still absolutely steaming hot. And um, so just take carefully put the lid to one side. What you can do, if you wanna check, is just fluff it up with a fork like this before you serve it, just to separate all of the grains. I can already see absolute perfectly cooked there. And I'm just gonna Serve it now onto this dish. So this is normally served, this rice, with like a stew type dish, vegetable or meat stews. We always have it with a barbecue. It's so versatile really, it goes with absolutely everything. This is the rice that we grew up with at home. Um, and it's the rice that I now cook for my kids and my kids say, mummy, can we have Nene's rice? Nene being grandmother, my mum to the, you know, their grandmother. And they will always ask for Nene's rice. And it is that super simple and easy to make. Chef Eli Pilav. Guys, if you really enjoyed that video, please hit like and subscribe and let me know what you'd like to see me cooking too.